Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a beneficial native species of wasp called the Eumenes fraternis. It's also known as the Potter wasp because it makes a really cool little nest, which is a clay structure made out of mud. It looks like a little clay pot or an urn, even with a little pore spout on it sometimes, is the way it looks. And it's only big enough for one little larva to grow up into an adult wasp inside that urn along with a caterpillar that is normally put in there for food. So it's a really neat little nest. If you see them around, look out for a tiny little clay pot attached to vegetation or sometimes attached to structures. Sometimes the foundress will make a few of these little pots in a row. It's not known to be aggressive towards people, so don't be afraid if you see it flying around your garden. They're actually good pollinators and very good biological control agents who focus mostly on caterpillars, soft-bodied prey, that they will leave inside the little clay pot they make for their larva to grow up in. Because of their black and white coloring, some people mistake them as bald-faced hornets, but on closer inspection you'll see they have an entirely different body shape. It has kind of an L shape to its body. You see how the end of the abdomen where a stinger would be in the female wasp uh, is often pointed down toward the ground even when they fly. They often pose on plants and vegetation in this L shape, so they're pretty easy to identify. This potter wasp is native to Northeast America, ranging up into Canada and down as far south as Texas and Oklahoma. This is just a very docile friend to your garden, so you don't want to spray these guys or kill them with poisons or anything like that. Just let them take care of your garden. They love to pollinate your flowers, and they love to hunt the caterpillars that might eat your vegetation. The adult wasp actually feeds on nectar, they also feed on pollen with the higher protein content in that substance. But they do feed live insect protein to their larva during the larva's development. These are solitary wasps, so you'll never see a large colony. The wasp you see here was filmed on August 9th of 2022 here in upstate Indiana. And we're not sure if it's male or female. There's a lot of light color on the clippius or the face of the wasp, so we think it might be male. So if you happen to know for sure if this is a male or a female and exactly how you would tell that, let us know in the comments so we can share it with the viewers. That's it for today's video. Let us know if you happen to see any of these anywhere around you. As always, thanks for being here. Have a good one.